Hey guys, what's floating your boat? Dempsey here, and this time we're gonna be reviewing the homemade PPSH by Scott Max. So yes, I know, this is the third PPSH mod we review, but this one is a little bit more unique since it was inspired by Metro Last Light. So really cool game, I really liked it. And uh, really also really good weapon, you can see all the clips, not the clips, all the bullets in the clip right there, looks really awesome, we're gonna go into further detail once you see the intro. But anyway, thank you for watching, hopefully you'll enjoy the video, make sure to endorse the mod if you like it, it's in the description by the way. And I'll also show you uh, where to find the weapon so you guys don't complain about that. So anyway, thank you for watching, this is MCD Reviews and enjoy the video. So, you can find the improvised PPSH at Doc's Mitchell house, like uh, many other mods out there, so I'll show you real quick in case you don't freaking know where the place is. So you go into Good Springs and then you go into the local map, Good Springs, Doc Mitchell's house, and it's gonna be right here, right under the uh, Bitomatic or bigger tester machine thingy. So here you take it, comes with a fuck ton of mods, and we're gonna be checking that out in a moment. So everybody thank god that my character is no longer naked, but anyway right now we can have a, a clear look at the improvised or homemade PSH. You can see right now the texture, the model, everything. So the texture is also great, but it's not the best. You can see also that the model is really good, but since, again, I play on really shitty uh, settings right now, my computer is arriving next week, yes! Since I play in really low settings, uh, yeah, it looks like shit right now but uh, whenever you play with it in like ultra settings something like that or 720p something like that it will look really awesome so yeah keep an eye out for that a cool feature of the, this weapon is that the, you can see the clip right here it has like uh, you can see all the bullets remaining like in the metro last light game but uh even though it doesn't work properly it doesn't eat up the ammunition uh, it's still there for the looks and looks really awesome in my opinion so right now you can see that the weapons dps is 241 it uh, requires uh, 80 gun skill to wield properly as well as 30 strength. It weighs 8 pounds, which is kind of a lot for like uh, such a small weapon, but whatever. Its value is 38.58, uses 9mm rounds, and uh, has a magazine slash clip capacity of 35, uh, 35 rounds, so that's really cool. You also get a custom icon, which I always appreciate, those are always awesome. And you have the ability to mod it, you get a refurbished part, you have a flip up later side, and you have a drunk max. So we're gonna install every single bad boy and we're gonna see what's up. So with the extended magazine or the drum mag, you can see it now has uh, 71, 71, yeah, 71, 71 um, rounds in the, in the uh, thingy, the round. And you can also see now we have another side, which in my opinion, uh, the original one or the default one looks a little bit better because... That's just my opinion, you guys can come to your own opinions in your game, whatever, I don't know what I'm saying. So yeah, it looks really awesome like this too, it looks more unique and doesn't look like a... Yeah, cool. So here's the first person view of the weapon. There you go, how it fires, really, uh, really fast fire rate, I suppose. Not I suppose, it's really a really fast fire rate. So here's the reload. I do believe it's the reload from the uh, riot shotgun and it works perfectly fine for this weapon. So now we're gonna be checking the weapon in combat and see how it handles enemies.
So overall, this is a really good weapon for a uh, for combat. It's really powerful. Well, it's not like it's really powerful, but it's like uh, fires really fi really fast, and you can deal like uh, insane amounts of damage really quickly. So that's a plus. And also now we're gonna be jumping into the verdict in which we'll be judging the cosmetic looks or the looks not the <laughs> not the cosmetic looks but whatever you understand so the weapon itself looks really awesome the models are really great the textures are really good not the best but it's really good I would have uh, never been able to do something like this never never but whatever really good texture I really like it uh, the models are really great it's my favorite part of the mod probably the the model and how unique the this PPSH is so we're gonna give it an overall score of nine just because the texture is not not just like uh, up there not not the best I'm just a fucking dick aren't I but whatever 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 um hopefully you guys enjoyed my review for the uh, homemade PPSH by Scott Mac if you guys want to why don't you download the mod and try it yourselves? Why not go into the description and install the mod? It's right there waiting for you. So thank you for watching. This was MCD. Make sure to leave a thumbs up and endorse the mod if you like it. Also make sure to subscribe if you want to see more reviews by myself in case you're new to the channel. I think, I don't know what I just did. What the hell did I just did? Oh my god. Okay, I paused the game. Okay, whatever. Uh, exit. Okay, so uh, regarding the Binding of Isaac Let's Play. I really, there's no think, no think, I really, there's no point for me to continue uploading those episodes since they got like uh, 7 views in like the first day and that's a really lame amount of views, so I'm gonna stop that, sadly, I really wanted to do that, but you guys are dicks and don't want to see that, but whatever, I'm not gonna force you to watch anything you don't want to watch on the channel, so yeah, more mod reviews, maybe I'll jump to Skyrim reviews, maybe I'll record some today, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. This was MCD Reviews, and, uh, yeah, have a nice day. Thank you.